Hello my dear kids. Let's learn something fun today. Let's see some pictures and guess what they are. A chair. Ladder. Box. Yes, we see them everywhere around us, right? All these things are made up of wood. But do you know where does wood come from? The trees. Trees gives us wood. But how? Let's see. When trees grow big and tall, their trunk, branches and twigs form the wooden part. Then the trees are cut down and the wood is collected. Trees like mango, maple, oak, pine, walnut, etc. Gives us lots of wood. Also, wood is of various colors and types. Each type of wood is used to make different things. Now, let's see some more pictures and guess what they are. Money Newspaper Tissue paper Craft paper all these things are made up of paper and do you know paper comes from wood but how let's see the wood collected from the trees is chopped into small bits then the chopped woods and water is added to a container and boiled together to make a pulp this pulp is passed through a machine to filter it and make it white. At last, the filtered white pulp is passed through various rollers and paper is ready. I have more pictures. Let's guess what they are. Notebooks Storybooks Magazines All these books are made from paper. Let's see how books are made from paper. First, the words and pictures are printed on papers. Then, the printed papers are cut to the size of a book and all the papers are binded together. At last, a strong hard cover is added to protect the papers. And the book is ready. Now you see kids, a huge tree gives us so much wood. And how we use the wood to make paper and then books. So we should not waste any paper and save trees. Now let's use some old papers and make something new. Take some old papers and tear it into small pieces. Take a glass of water and pour it into the bowl. Mix it well and wait for two hours. Tell your elders to make a paste like this in the mixer grinder of the soaked paper. Now take a bowl of water and add three tablespoons of the pulp in it. Take a strainer and dip it inside the bowl. Take the strainer out and let it dry overnight. And your paper is ready. You can decorate your paper as you like with colors and other things.